Hello and welcome to another AVR How To Guide. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up the device to send messages on power failure and also on power restore. So let's open our file and go to the rules section. Here we will set up a rule. We we'll first of all give it a name and we'll call this power fail. And we want to know when the power has failed on terminals 13 and 14, the main power supply. So we'll choose main power supply as our trigger. And now from our condition, we'll look at main power and choose it from the drop down list. And we want to look at the input status. We want to change our operand to equals. We want it to trigger when the power fails or the input status equals zero. Now we can set an action based on this trigger. So we want to send an SMS. So we'll choose send SMS from the drop down list. Put in our mobile number in international format with a plus symbol in front of it. Put a comma, open quotes and the message we want to send. Power has failed. We'll also send an email as well. So we'll choose send email from the drop down list. Put the email address of where we want the email to go. Followed by a comma and then in quotes the message we want to send. In this example, I'm going to put the message London site in the subject line for the email. And in the second set of quotes, I'm going to put the power fail message, which will appear in the body of the email. And again, click on tick to save that. Right, now we need to do a message for the power restoring. And the easiest way to do that is to actually clone this rule and then just edit it. So we've cloned it by clicking on it and clicking the clone button. We'll change the name to power OK. We'll change the status to one for when the power is turned back on again. We'll change the message text to power is back on. And in the email, again, we'll change the message text to power OK and click on tick and that's done. One other thing we might want to change is in the configuration for the mains power, we might want to make sure the power has been off for a certain amount of time before the power fail message has been sent. We can do this in the mains power supply section and change the activation time to a longer period. In this example, 300 seconds or five minutes. It won't send the message then until the power has been off for five minutes. So we won't get any nuisance messaging. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please contact us.